Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here, welcome back to my channel. Picking your first 6 stars is always gonna be a struggle, especially if you don't know which one to be going for. In today's video, I'm going to give you the best pick you can be taking, depending on which team you're going for and what's your needs. And we all know that to be getting your first 6 stars, you're basically gonna need to do 30 summons. Your first 30 summons gonna be giving you a free 6 stars hero you can be selecting, whatever you want. This is basically going to be the exact same heroes that you're gonna be choosing one of them. So we're starting with, if you're going for the fire and electric teams, then you're having two options. Either we're starting with to be adding another fire hero, you can go for Mu Huang Shi. She's a tank with a crowd control, as well as the element zone to the fire. With her control being a tank, gonna give you a big advantage looking to the expand of the fire zone, which will be helping the electric heroes to be making the effect between the synchronize of the fire and the electric too. So this is a good pick to start with, and she's a tank, really helpful. I have been trying her with my friends that who have her, and really she's been great. Looking to use a second option from the fire, going to be Cyrus. He's one of the best fire heroes that you should be picking, first of all, even before Mo Huang Chi. That's because he's a proof damage dealer, as well as he's even having a wider area to be applying the fire zone. Looking to the skills he got, he's not just a human, he got two forms. He's having the human form as well as the Canis form. Both of them having its own advantage. The human form, gonna be using the Daybreak skill, the Bloodline Mark, can be used in a human form and it will be charging toward the target, dealing fire damage equal to 100% with a final attack to enemies along the boss upon reaching the target location, dealing fire damage equal to 2700 final attack to the closest enemy within 300 unit radius, as well as the fire damage equal to 900% final attack to other enemies before returning to the starting position. So he will be going in that direction, dealing fire damage to all the enemies that's in the direction he's going for, and when he's retiring, he will be still dealing damage to them as well as apply the fire zone. And he will be leaving a mark on them. So this is really one of the best options to be going for or one of the reasons why to be going for Cyrus. At the same time, I've heard that he's the best and the long-term core for the fire teams if you decided to be going full fire without going for the electric, which I'm not going to be really suggesting to go complete fire team especially looking to that the synchronize between the element is really one of the best thing about Ash Echoes that we should be taking advantage of. And at the same time, his uh, ultimate here, or the seed skill, he will be switched from the human form to the Canis form, and he will be dealing fire damage equal to 3000 of the final attack to all enemies within 600 unit rates. For every unit he hits, he will be restoring 8% max HP then. So he's not just a bruised damage dealer as well as he got his own lifesteal from his ultimate. And the cannon, the cannon's form going to be making basic attacks dealing fire damage to the, you know, attack speed with 0 0.667 uh, times per second. So he's going to be really crazy attack speed, which lasts for 30 seconds. And every crit land extend the duration of the cannon's form by two seconds. So increasing the crit damage as well as the crit rate on him is going to be a crazy outpost, especially if working around his ultimate. So uh, the next one, still on the fire and the electric, going to be Hassel. Hassel is a DBS Bruce with a long range as well as he is a ranged unit. So he's really great to be adding into the fire element teams. Looking to his ultimate here, that land of the death this skill may only be used when ghost hand is present and ghost hand is the extra skill or let's say the extra gun he got fires a huge energy shot at the target area dealing lightning damage equal to 200 final attack to enemy units along the path inter uh, intercapting the projects 
So he will be as well destroying the flying attacks. And after the, en the energy shot reaches the destinations, it deals lightning damage equal to 1450 with the mastery to all targets within 400 unit rates. The target at the center takes additional physical damage equal to 6500 final attack. So he's one of the great great use from the electric that you should be going for if you're considering to be working on the fire electric teams and this was the best options for the fire and electric moving on to the corrosion the corrosion there is actually two options here i'm not going to be working on just the corrosion i'm including the corrosion and the physic since both of them not really have been uh, synchronized but we will be doing a great work together the physic will be talking about the style or the type of elements and the heroes that's into the game in a separate video to be diving into everything around them so the corrosion the best option that's available in here going to be lorila she's the core of the corrosion teams she's a dbs tank really one of the great great corrosion teams the corrosion team is going to be one of the hardest to be building, but the outcome of it will be really worth it. Lorena, the reason why she's a core of the corrosion team and she can be as well fitting in any kind of teams, look into that she's a tank as well as a DBS. We can be switching between the stages for her to be having the form of dealing damage or the form of taking damage to be a defender. The preload is the first skill which is the offensive skill use inoffensive to switch to the defense more likely to target by the enemies gain basic duration increase between 1200 uh, 12 to 20 percent based on her defense and the bullyphony deals corrosion's damage equal to 400 vitality with the corrosion damage equal to 250 percent of the mastery to the enemy units so this is really great addition to this hero. And then we have in the night long area. This is her ultimate. Lorena starts plays and deals corrosion damage equal to 3000 mastery to a total of eight random enemies with high HP. So she's going to be focusing on the highest HP in the enemy team. So we'll be making things more easier to be finishing them off and then activate the dream catcher enhancing the effects of the current song either if you are in the form of the attack song or the defense song and you can see in which uh, form she's playing when you're using the ultimate what effects gonna be if she's in the defensive form then she will be gaining a shield of the value equal to current max HP she got and 65% of all the damage taken by the allies is divided, divided to Lorela. So she's going to as well absorb damage from the allies when they are taking damage while the effects lost adds double corrosion accumulation to the terminal. Corrosion accumulation gain effect may trigger up to once per second as well as if she's in offensive form the uh, polyphony is going to be dealing 18% increased damage. And then the damage, the dream catcher, while the effect loss, gain immunity to most control effect damage dealt by the allies will be recorded in the dreamland. At the end of the song, all enemies' units are going to be shared 50% of the damage recorded in dreamland as a true damage. So when she's in the ultimate form, she's also collecting the damage that the ally is going to be dealing and in the end of her ultimate period she's going to be dealing 50% of this recorded damage to the enemies that's one of the reasons she's a great great hero to be taken into the team and especially the corrosion team look into the corrosion when we're having the corrosion reach 100 it explodes as well as it deals more damage. And then we have in it going to the Physic. Then we have in Luki. Luki is the Summoner DBS Barrier. His really good addition is if you're going to be for the Summoner teams. Since there is other Summoner's heroes. You can be having Luki in it. And with his Summoner effect. With the Packages Summon. 
let's say, he sends his uh, packages to be dealing damage to the enemies when he's using the Lulu Express delivery. And this is deals physical damage equal to 3000 of the final attack to targets in straight line and increase all allied Ecomancer's attack by 25% for 30 seconds. Intercapped enemy projects in sending eight packages along the path. So he's not just using the skill to be dealing 3000 final attack, but he also sent eight of the packages to be dealing damage as well along with his attack. So this is a good hero to be going for if you're just going to be playing with the summoner's heroes. Moving on to the next one. We're having the best support from the six stars going to be Long Queen. She's the long, long term support that you will be having into the game. If you got her, you have secured yourself one of the best supports into the game. The reason for that is thanks to her plus saying, grants all allied commanders four stack of aqua shield that lost for 600 seconds while the barriers lost and the damage taken from the projectiles is reduced by between 48 to 80 percent based on the defense and the damage taken from other sources is reduced by between 12 to 20 percent based on the defense as well and after an echomancer take damage one stack of the aqua shield is lost for every one stack of aqua shield lost Long Queen gonna be restoring HP equal to 313% healing power and summons the Golden Koi to counterattack, dealing water damage equal to 100% of the final attack to enemies along its path. Golden Koi's counterattack damage is considered auto scale damage, so that's one of the reasons why she's going to be one of the long term heroes that you're gonna be using, especially if looking to a support. A paced support that will be considering adding defense as well as damage reduction and long term healing. So, this is the best pick you can be considering when you're going for your first six stars heroes from the guaranteed hero selection after your first 30 summons. If I missed any of them, make sure guys to be sharing with me in the comments as well as if you have any other opinions, I'll be more than happy to hear your opinions. Share it with us in the comments down below. Make sure to be liking the video as well as subscribe to the channel to not be missing any of Ash Echo's videos in the future. Till then, take care and enjoy your day.